Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to continue our talk about tolerances. But before talking about how to put tolerances on the drawing, it is important to know that there are two main types of tolerances, dimensional tolerances and geometrical tolerances. A dimensional tolerance is the total amount a specific dimension is permitted to vary between maximum and minimum limits of size. A geometric tolerance is the maximum or minimum variation from true geometric form or position that may be permitted in manufacturing. In today's lecture, we are going to learn how to indicate a dimensional tolerance on the drawing. There are several methods to indicate a dimensional tolerance on the drawing. One of the most used methods is the deviation tolerance indication. In this method, the indication of tolerances on the drawing is by writing the allowable deviation next to the nominal size. For example, if the nominal size of this feature is 30, and the maximum allowable deviation range is 0.2, then the dimension will be written like this, 30 plus minus 0.1. This is called equal bilateral tolerance because the deviation is equal in both the negative and positive directions. There are some cases where deviation is allowed in both the negative and the positive directions, but with different values. For example, 30 minus 0.05 plus 0.15. In this case, it is called an unequal bilateral tolerance. In other cases, deviation is even allowed in only one direction. For example, 30 minus 0.0, .0 plus 0.2. This is now called a unilateral dimension. Another tolerance indication method is the limit tolerance indication. In this method, the indication of tolerances on the drawing is done by directly writing the two limits of the size that the dimension is allowed to vary in between. For example, if the nominal dimension is 30 and the part can still be acceptable at 29.9 and 30.1, then you would replace the drawing entry 30 with the limits 29.9 and 30.1. Now comes the question, does the designer have to tolerate all the dimensions on the drawing? And the answer is yes, all dimensions must be tolerated. But there is a way to do such without adding a tolerance explicitly to each dimension. This is done by using what are so-called general tolerances. In almost all technical drawings, you will find a general tolerance note. This note is added to the drawing to state a general tolerance that is valid for all dimensions that do not explicitly include a tolerance indication. This could be done by referencing to a general tolerance standard, like general tolerances according to ISO 2768-M. The ISO 2768 specifies a tolerance for each length and angle in a table similar to this. For example, if the dimension that has no specified tolerance on the drawing is 50 mm, and we find the specification tolerances according to 2768 m on the drawing, then this means that the valid tolerance is plus or minus 0.3 because it lies between 30 and 120 mm and the specification is M, which stands for medium. Since 2021, general tolerances should not be specified according to ISO 2760 M, but according to DIN and ISO 22081, which uses geometric dimensioning and tolerancing G, D, and T to control general tolerances. This topic will be covered later on. That's it for this lecture. In the next lecture, we're gonna talk about limits and fits. See you in the next lecture.